Since the recording of this video, a new version of TextDocs was released. You will notice the new version includes a new logo, changes to the interface, and new simplified menus designed to bring the features most valuable to the document automation process to the forefront. However, the processes, features, and functionality demonstrated in this video have not changed. Thank you for selecting this video in our Quick Start video series. This video will cover the TextDocs Plus document assembly process. I will be using TextDocs Plus anywhere. However, whether you are using Classic or anywhere, the document assembly process works the same. There is one key difference when it comes to accessing your finished documents, on which I will focus toward the end of the video. If the case for which you want to assemble documents is already listed in the Contacts Manager, you can click to select it and then click the Assemble New Documents button to initiate the document assembly process. If you need to enter a new client case for which to assemble documents, you can either right click on an existing client to open a menu which will allow you to add a new contact or a new case for the client on which you right clicked. Or you can click the green plus sign at the bottom of the Contacts Manager to add a new contact or a new case for the client that is highlighted in the Contacts Manager. I will be adding a new client case. After clicking the Add a Contact option on the right click menu, the Contact Will Be Added window opens. The last and first name of the client are the only items which must be completed. You can also enter the additional contact information, or you can edit the client's information to include those details at a later time. Click OK to add the client to the Contacts Manager. A pop-up will follow which asks if you would like to create a case for the newly added client. Click Yes, and the Case Will Be Added window opens. Enter a case description. If you have set up case types, you can select the case type from the drop-down menu and then enter billing information for this case. However, as with adding a new client, you can also review and edit the case detail at a later time. Once the case is added, it will be selected in the Contacts Manager. Click the Assemble New Documents button. The document assembly process will begin on the Select Forms tab. Note that the case for which you will be assembling documents is displayed at the top of the TextDocs Plus desktop. Select the practice area from the drop-down. You can scroll through the table of contents looking for the forms you need, or you can use the filter to help you find the forms. The filter will search through the titles and form numbers in the table of contents of the select practice area, searching for an exact match to what is entered in the filter. Because it is searching for an exact match, it is not recommended that you try to enter an entire title in the filter. Instead, enter a word or word part which you are relatively confident is in the title of the form you need. As you type, a list of forms will filter down to the titles which contain an exact match to what you have entered in the filter. When you are using the filter, you want to enter a word or word part that is unique to the title. For example, if you type the word motion into the filter, because there are so many titles with the word motion in them, it will not help you narrow down your search. However, if you are looking for a motion for counseling and start typing counseling, it will better help you find the form or forms you need. Check the boxes next to the form or forms you want to assemble. Certain practice areas, such as family law, have local forms available for assembly. Local forms are county-specific local rules forms. Generally, these are PDFs that our development team has downloaded from the county website and coded for use in the system. After selecting the Local Forms tab, you can type the name of your county into the filter. As you do, the list will filter down to just your county. Note that you can select multiple forms for assembly at once. Once you have selected forms for assembly, they will be listed on the Selected Forms tab. 
When you have all of the forms you need to assemble listed, click Next to go to the Options tab where the selected case is also displayed. Select the Do Not Save or Reuse Answers option on the Options tab if you would like to assemble documents without saving the answers into a case file. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. The Review Edit Previous Answers option only pertains if you are assembling documents for a case in which you have previously assembled documents. Selecting this option will allow you to review the questions and answers in the documents you are assembling, which were also asked in the previously assembled documents. Otherwise, if you do not select this option, those previously answered questions will get skipped. Click the Next button in the lower left corner. After clicking Next, the questions pertinent to the form or forms you selected to assemble will begin to be asked. Use the Previous and Next buttons to navigate through the assembly, answering the questions as you go. After completing the series of questions for the forms you selected, click Continue on the Questionnaire Completed pop-up, and TextDocs will take those answers and assemble your finished documents. Anywhere subscribers will need to click the download link in order to download the assembled documents to their computer. Classic subscribers will be able to open their documents by simply clicking the Open button. Thanks again for watching this video. If you ever want to review this video, you will find this and other TextDocs videos on the Learning Center tab at the top of the TextDocs desktop. Also, if you have any questions, please give us a call or use the Contact Us option on the Help tab to send an email.